from the IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. What up, Braves? Welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Ethan Higgins. And I'm Sailor Betts. We've got some news to cover. So let's jump right into it. This past week, boys basketball defeated Madeira in an exciting battle of the CHL with a score of 40-37. to Ty Thornton hit a game-winning shot as time was winding down to put the Braves up by one. Be sure to come out to the home boys basketball game tonight against Marymount in what should be another very exciting game. As usual, JV starts at 6 and varsity tip-off will take place at 7.30. As for the girls basketball team, they beat Talawanda at home by 60 points, 83-23 to on Monday, and also humiliated Marymount on Wednesday, 67-29. to Their performance has earned them a spot in the voting for Cincinnati's Team of the Week and junior Maddie Antonucci for Cincinnati's Player of the Week. Be sure to vote for our Braves. The link will be in the description. Congratulations to Indian Hills' John Mark Williams, who was chosen as Outstanding Wrestler of the 2018 Ryle Raider Rumble. Speaking of wrestling, your IH Braves wrestlers took on Ross and Cole Rain yesterday and were able to split the wins. Great job. Now let's check in with Sailor and Lena for the wrap-up of the fall season. What's up, Braves Nation? I'm Lena Bruscato. And I'm Sailor Betts. And we're here with your IH Fall Sports Wrap-Up. Girls Tennis finished their season with a 12-3 record, all three losses being 3-2. More players from IH qualified for state than from any other team. Girls Soccer had another dominant season, which they finished as state champs for the second year in a row. Seniors finished their high school careers with a two-peat in the OHSAA Women's State Soccer Tournament. As the IH men's soccer team had the fifth hardest schedule in the state, it was a challenging but well-executed season. The Braves got a two-seed in the tournament but lost in the sectional final to McNick. Our Braves field hockey team had quite an accomplished season as well. They won five games, including a win over rival Summit once and two wins over rival Talawanda. The boys golf team had a successful season. The team finished third in the CHL and Peter and Trey both qualified for the district tournament. The highlight of the season was the CHCA Invitational Tournament, when the team played some of the best golf of the season and finished second out of 15 teams. We can't forget about our running Braves on the boys and girls cross country teams. They had an extremely eventful and accomplished season, competing in meets across the state of Ohio. Three of the XC Braves even made it to the state meet, where Benjamin Bayless got 7th, Nolan Heffernan got 54th, and Elizabeth Whaley got 70th. The volleyball girls had a great season, led by seniors Haley Henry and Katie Becker. Making it to the sectional semifinals, the girls destroyed almost every team in the CHL. Indian Hill Cheerleading has had a great fall season with a clean sweep at this year's CHL competition and qualification for nationals at the annual Bluegrass Regionals competition in Lexington in both their traditional routine and their game day routine. Our Indian Hill football team had an exciting and successful season, facing off with rival Wyoming twice at the end of the season. Making it to the second round of state playoffs, the Braves finished their season strong with an overall record of 9-3 and, and only one loss at home. Thanks, Sailor and Alina. Now let's head over to Jake and Mark to find out what's going on in the IH hallways. Hi, I'm Demetrius Vela here. And um, I'm going to solve a math equation for you. Why is Ohio State so good this year? Um, tremendous coaching. Um, an all around uh, uh, good sophomore class. How was <laughs> <laughs> that wrong? Oh, you got multiply. You got, you got to multiply. So you my college basketball picks. Um, I got Duke, Michigan, uh, Virginia, Gonzaga, uh, North Carolina. Uh, those are my main teams. I think Michigan will go to challenge, but um, the coaching expertise of Ohio State, I think, will prevail. Baylor. Uh, don't listen to me. He's a buffoon. Um, <laughs> no, I. No, I said buffoon. <laughs> I said buffoon. You all might have noticed the art gallery in the front lobby these past two weeks. Students in visual fundamentals, studio art, photography, and AP studio art are displaying their favorite pieces from their first semester. Today is the last day of the show and awards will be given out each class and overall favorite will also be selected. 
This Sunday, there will be a kids fed packing session from 1 to 3 in the front lobby of the high school. Students can earn white community service hours by participating. The sacks of food being packed will help kids over the longer holiday break, so we need all hands on deck. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Let's check out this week's TikTok winner. The conclusion of the first semester will mark the end of the TikToks of the week and Hot Ones weekly segments. Thanks for watching while they lasted. Last week, the student body raised funds for cancer research in support of the Madeira Athletic Director by selling shirts and holding a raffle at last Friday's away basketball game. Student body president Connor Morris agreed to be taped to the cafeteria wall in support of the cause. Students bought strips of tape for $1 each and put it over Connor. Sadly, the tape was not strong enough to hold him there. Next week, there will be a unique schedule for exams. On Monday, we will have a skinny flex bell schedule. On Tuesday, the first period exam will be held from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. This will be followed by a 30-minute break and then the second period exam from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The same schedule follows for the rest of the week, with third and fourth period on Wednesday, fifth and sixth period on Thursday, and seventh period and makeup exams on Friday. Good luck, Braves. Due to popular demand, we interviewed British Ethan about how he became so sick at everything. Let's take a look. I am God to these people. So, what inspired you to create such a critically acclaimed masterpiece such as the beautiful commercial for Arby's? What was the question again? The question isn't really what inspired me, it's who inspired me and that would be me. Well how does it feel to be loved by everyone? It's easy. I've been loved by everyone since I was born. Uh, last and probably most important question that I or any reporter will ever ask, uh, what is your favorite color? What is my favorite color is an extremely subjective question and I'm gonna... It looks like it's time for me to meditate. Uh, we gotta take a break. People ask me why I don't talk in class and I just say it's because I'm a quiet person, but that's not true at all. It's because I am better than them and they don't deserve anything to do with me. Thanks, Ethan. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Study hard and good luck on exams, everyone. Thanks for watching Brace Beat this first semester, and as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. We just want to ask a few questions. Oh. Yeah. What are you doing to prepare for exams? I didn't study, but I think I'm ready, but I don't know if I'm ready or not. I didn't study, and I don't know if I'm ready, and then Eating Oreos. Procrastinating. Studying hard. That's, 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 the, that's the real one right there. And you and me, what are you putting on the AP Capstone exam this year? The same thing I put on last year. They're making food. I'm hungry. Can I have some food?